said, you have a different setup between uh, Bungle and Misfits and Dead Cross and, and all that stuff, or is it kind of the same? Bungle and Dead Cross are, are similar, are yeah. pretty much identical. It's the typical double bass setup. And then, uh, and then for the Misfits, it's a Dale Crover drum set. It's like oh, yeah. eight floor tom. It's a 15 inch rack tom and a 24 inch bass drum. But, but I think what just, everybody wants to know really is uh, does Glenn Danzig like China symbols? I, I never brought a China symbol when I went into the band. I didn't bring China symbols because number one, in that punk music, they couldn't afford a China symbol. They all they had was broken. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's you the, they all sounded like China symbols anyway because they're all broken. Yeah, they did. <laughs> so, for whatever reason. The China symbol kind of gets the stigmata of being like, well, heavy metal, I guess, but which is fine by me. But I mean, you know, Charlie Watts uses a whole ton of China symbols. Uh, True. You know, and and if you look at old, old, old jazz drum kits and stuff, that's what they had. Yeah. Kind of weird looking symbols. But uh, um, I no, I played with people that are like, don't like them because of that, and which makes me just want to play it more. You know. Because <laughs> I like chain symbols myself, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I used to want lots of drums, big drums, have lots of stuff. Um, but I think the older I've got, the drums have gotten a little bit smaller and just as simple. I mean, I still like to have all the bells and whistles and stuff like that, like uh, 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 Pete Englehart ribbon crashers and weird percussion stuff, noisemakers yeah. and stuff like that. But it's pretty simple. It's just, you know, snare. I got, I, I got 24, 13, 16 toms. 13, really? 16. 13 tom tom? Yeah. You're using that small now. Yeah. Well, I have this drum kit that I've actually had for a long time. It's an old 1948 Gretsch broadcaster drum kit. And I don't think... it's, uh -uh. they're super thin shells. They're like three ply shells, which is insane. Super resonant. And then, um, uh, yeah, 24, 24 by 14. So it's kind of short, you know, uh -huh. and then 13, 16. And the drums just always sounded amazing to me. And they're so fun to play. I just kind of decided that I like those sizes the best and kind of went for that, you know. And you know what? Been, they're accessible too. Like when you're doing fly ins and certain shows, it's like you're, you could always hear yeah. it get smaller. Smaller. Right. Because I could never find like a kit with like a, you know, like a rental kit with like a tw 26, 16, 20 inch floor tom. There's no yeah. way. Nobody's ever said to me like, oh, you're using smaller drums. It's like, it sounds the same. I mean, they still sound big. Yeah. You know? I mean, I used that kit. I used a similar kit on Houdini that I borrowed. And like some of the big so songs that sound really big, it's like they're small yeah. drums. Yeah. yeah. I've heard it's that. Like with, the, with, yeah. When you're with Zeppelin. Yeah, like with Zeppelin. If you listen to Led Zeppelin too, it's like Jimmy Jimmy Page is playing through a small amp. He's not playing through a stack. You can tell, right? But then John Bonham is playing a twenty-six inch kick drum. You know that? Yeah, so. fourteen. <laughs> yeah, you you can tell those the sound of that drum. You could. Yeah, it's unreal the 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 personality that that configuration the fourteen inch. It, it's like a especially a fourteen inch a, a, a deep. Uh, bass drum it's almost yeah. like the bass drum at a, in a marching band yeah totally, totally. 